Good morning everyone, Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs here. Welcome to video 100. Um, I want to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel and for following me on Facebook. Um, it's been a very enjoyable journey, art journey, and I want to thank you all for your support. It means a lot. I started painting with alcohol inks about a year and a, about a year and a half ago, I'd say, and I've learned a lot during the time during the beginning. Uh, I found it difficult to find videos on YouTube that taught me what it is I wanted to do. So I thought once I learn how to control this ink, and you all know how difficult that is, that I would share what I learned for those who found themselves in the same boat I did when I first began. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you what I want to teach you today. This is a tile that I did yesterday. And I don't know if you can see the different colors that show up here. Um, I'm going to show you how I did that. It's pretty easy. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your tile is clean. Wipe it down with some alcohol. And make sure that it's dry. Also, let me remind you that all the uh, products used in this video, um, the micro brushes, the airbrush, the Ranger hand blow dryer, everything will be listed in the description box below. Also, I've added a, a PayPal tip jar for those of you who wish to help support my channel to keep me um, creating videos and to be able to purchase more art supplies. Okay, so, oh, and let me say thank you very much for those of you who have tipped me. It's very much appreciated. All right, so now getting down to business. First color I'm going to put down in the center of my tile is um, Passion Purple. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna start differently this time. I'm using these markers. They're called Touch New. I purchased them on Amazon. They'll be in the links below the video also if you want to take a look. So what I'm going to do is to create an X. And the next color I'll use, let's use some pink. I'm going to create another X. You can be a lot neater with this. And I want to add some yellow. So I'm just going to put that right in between. I think I'll go over that pink again since I muddied it up a little. Okay, now in the center I'm going to put down a drop of um, Purple Passion by Pinata. And I'm going to use a micro brush just to spread it around a little bit. And I'm going to dry it on low. And this is where the fun begins. 
Let me get some of these markers out of the way. I have such a mess here. I watch videos on other with other artists, and they work so neat. I don't know how they do it. I can't. All right. So to create large petals, I'm going to be using a large amount of alcohol. So I'm going to put down a drop, a large drop, let it sit for a moment, and then use the hand blower to blow it out. And you want to make sure that you dry each petal completely. And don't worry what your edges look like. We're going to clean those up. So using the Ranger um, hand blower, I like using this on tile better than I do my airbrush. I love the size of the petals that it gives me, and it's really simple to use. And they're not expensive at all. I think I paid like $14 for this. Look at the size of the petals, how pretty. Can you see all those colors coming through? It's such a pretty effect. And of course, you can use whatever colors you like. I've been playing with this for the past two days. I think we have two more petals to go and we'll be finished. So I find that the closer I put the nozzle to the tile, the wider my petals go. And also I find that it's easier to control if my alcohol is going too far out, I just blow it back in from that direction. Okay, now let's go to the center. I'll be using snow cap and I'm just putting it on the top, or rather the bottom of this little shot glass. And I'll be using a micro brush. And then I'll show you how to clean up the edges. Just got a clean micro brush. I don't like that one. Okay. So I'm going to dip my micro brush into the snow cap, cap some of it off. And because the center is such a saturated color, the white will be will absorb the purple underneath. But that's okay because it'll be the foundation for our center. and you will be layering your center. So it's nice to have some dark underneath. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Okay, let me make sure that's dry. I can add my second layer.
When I create my centers, I always load my micro brush and start at the top. This is where I want the light to be coming from, from this direction. So I always start dabbing at the top. And as I need to reload my brush, I work towards the bottom because that's where I want it to be darker. I don't want it to be the same all the way down to the bottom. I want one side to remain lighter and the other darker. So as I need to reload my brush, that's when I start working downward. So I have less on the brush. one more layer and this center will be finished. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let me give you a close-up. And now to clean up the edges, what I do is I use a clean paper towel and fold it in half and I wrap it around my finger. I put some alcohol on the tip and I use the side of the tile as my guide. I just put my finger down and I wipe. Now every time that you wipe you should change the paper towel to a clean area otherwise you're just spreading the ink. And just continue to do that on all sides of the tile and you'll get clean edges that sound is horrific it sounds like nails on a chalkboard but it's unavoidable And there you go, clean edges. Now, if I were going to um, use this as a trivet or um, put it on a pedestal, not a pedestal, uh, a stand, I would, well, if I were using it as a trivet, I would seal it with two coats of the Kamar varnish and two coats of the Kamar UV protection. And then I would pour resin over it once once it was dry. I would pour resin over it and then you can use it as a trivet. If you're going to use it um, just on a stand, you don't have to resin it, although using resin on the tile gives it such a beautiful finish and um, you can use it either way. But if you don't seal it with resin, I don't recommend that you use it as a trivet, putting anything hot on it. Um, the Kamar varnish and UV protection is not meant for heat. So I don't recommend using those two products and then using this to as a trivet or to put anything hot on it. I would recommend resining it anyway. So here we go. I'll show you the finished product.
the light from this light ring is annoying, but sorry, I can't help it. Can you see all those beautiful colors coming through? Well, I hope you give this a try. And if you do, please tag me in it. I'd love to see how you do. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.